there today. It seemed like I thought it was going to be a little bit warmer today, Tony, but it wasn't with the mist and rain coming down. Yeah, and actually, uh, Mike and Shannon, you know, the actual air temperature, like mid and upper 40s, which for this time of year, you know, okay. But then you tack in that wind, which is very gusty on uh, northeast, 25, 30 miles per hour. There's a, a bit of a wind chill. It does make it feel cooler, but generally dry. Now, we're still holding on to the clouds and every now and then a few sprinkles. But, of course, the, the heavy rain that we had during the overnight hours is long gone. And, and eventually, we're going to be clearing these skies out for the uh, overnight hours and some well-deserved sunshine is on tap for Friday. It's quiet in, um, in Warwick and East Greenwich right now. But you look at some of these wind gusts out of the northeast, especially out in southeastern Mass. In fact, there's a wind advisory for the Cape. I mean, look at Nantucket. That's not a breeze. That's pretty strong at 51 miles per hour. But elsewhere, we're getting gusts around 25 to 30, though Newport in the last hour gusting to 38 miles per hour. So it makes it feel colder. That's a bit of a wind chill. But the actual air temperature in the middle 40s, that includes 44 now in Providence, New Bedford at uh, 41. Our threat tracker tonight through Friday looking okay, low, and nothing really impactful. And even uh, Saturday, at least the daylight hours, not bad. I mean, staying dry, clouds will be on the increase, cool temperatures in the middle 40s, but we bring back the last thing we need, more rain. And it may be heavy at times. This is really centered on Saturday night, the heaviest rain later Saturday evening, uh, an inch or two possible. So once again, we'll have to keep an eye on uh, rivers and streams. Some of that uh, damp weather spilling over into at least early on Sunday morning. So if there's any upside to the local rivers, um, you know, just minor to moderate flooding. It's not anticipated to be major or extreme. We'll start to see some of the waters receding uh, on Friday and into Saturday. But once we bring back more rain Saturday night, we'll have to watch the rivers once again. But much better on Friday. And again, rain for part of the weekend is specifically on Saturday night. Potential is there for one to two inches of rain. And while it will be damp and wet on Sunday morning, the the heavier rain should be moving out uh, at that time. So still holding on to the clouds, but look at the clearing just to our west. Drier air will be punching in uh, later in the evening and during the overnight. So when we widen out the view, all of this real estate back here, that belongs to us for Friday. So some, sun, some welcome sunshine. As we take this into the future, that system moving offshore, we take you into uh, Friday afternoon at about 2 o'clock, and we're getting temperatures that are close to 50. Uh, your Friday night, you're heading out, it looks fine. And then notice on Saturday, uh, clouds on the increase. I think any early morning sun would be short-lived, but staying dry. And as we jump ahead to Saturday night, uh, the rain is starting to work in. The heaviest rain in yellow and orange is later Saturday night, but notice it's pulling away on Sunday. But Sunday morning, this is 7 a.m., does start off kind of damp with some light showers. It dries out in the afternoon, but Sunday's a windy day, so once again, the temperatures are going to feel cooler than they actually are. For this evening, clouds and some sprinkles early. Later in the evening, we start to see some clearing, and here we go, some sunshine uh, Friday morning and afternoon. By 11 a.m., it's at 44, and upper 40s to briefly near 50 uh, tomorrow afternoon. We'll take it, and clear weather continues into Friday night. All right, seven-day forecast dry Saturday day. Rain Saturday night on into at least early early Sunday morning, drier Sunday afternoon, but a windy day, looking at temperatures eventually dropping later in the day. And what's nice about next week, a trend of dry weather with some sunshine. We'll take it with milder temperatures by uh, midweek. So getting a breather next couple of days before we bring back more rain on Saturday night. Yeah, I got to take advantage of that sunshine tomorrow. Yes. For sure. All right, Tony, thank you. Still ahead.